in the cornerstone of uh, the Connecticut River, East Haddam, one of the best, most noticeable things about Connecticut. We're talking, of course, about the Goodspeed Opera House. Saturday evening is a big night for the Goodspeed Opera House's 59th year because for the first time in three years, they're having their annual gala, which is uh, honoring uh, Gwen Verdon and uh, Bob Fosse and their legacy. We'll get to that in a second. Donna Lynn Hilton is the artistic director of the Goodspeed. You've been with them how many yeah. years? 34 years. I was a child. Yeah. <laughs> Indentured servant at that point, uh, right? Well, there yeah. you go. I don't like to. But, yeah. <laughs> nice to have you here. Nice to be here. I, let's talk about theater because, I mean, we, we say that, you know, th first time in three years, the gala's coming back. Yes. But it's not just the gala th in three years. Theater is back after a wild ride. That's right. That's right. And I think that's it. I think we're back. Mm -hmm. I think we're back. You know, it's not over, but we're back. Talk about what you've learned and how, how, how life at a good speed opera house has changed and how theater in general has changed. You know, I think we've learned it. Like we all have learned, we have no control, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. We just had to go go with the bumps as it came. Um, and what we've learned about theater is what I hope a lot of uh, everybody, every industry is learning, mm -hmm. is that you know, we, ha we have to be better to one another, we have to be nicer to one another. Right. The work that we do mm -hmm. has to matter in yeah. a way that it probably didn't have to matter previously. Which is interesting to hear you say that because, you know, at least in my interpretation of theater, and you know me as a, as a big theater buff, uh, theater is an escape for real life. Yes. And it's tough to escape from real life when real life has absolutely taken over everything, including the theater. Has yeah. that adjusted how the Opera House works now? It has. Um, you know, I think that we see in our programming for this year something mm -hmm. like Cabaret that is now nearly 60 years old, mm -hmm. but has a very important message mm -hmm. that is incredibly relevant yeah. today. Mm -hmm. um, but we're also producing 42nd Street later this and summer. And you're starting a new one, Anna Green Gables. And we're world premiering a new adaptation of the Anna Which, Green if you know Gables the Good Speed Opera House in their 59 years, that you've done that plenty of times, premiered stuff and some yes. stuff is even gone straight to Broadway. Another cough, cough, girl whose Annie. first name was Anne. Right. <laughs> so talk about, uh, let's let's talk about uh, Vernon and Fosse, because uh, they are, uh, obviously, Bob Fosse did the, the movie version of Cabaret, which is the opening show in this season. Yes. Uh, Bob Fosse, obviously, you know, one of the kings of, of, of theater. Mm -hmm. Tough to do. Tough to emulate him in 2022? Um, no. You know, what's unique about our production of mm -hmm. Cabaret is that Lainey Sakakura, the choreographer of our production, was given spe special permission by the Verdon Fosse Legacy, mm -hmm. the organization created by Nicole Fosse, their daughter, mm -hmm. um, to protect the, the property sure. of her parents' work. Um, Lainey was given special permission to reconstruct Mine Air from the Cabaret film mm -hmm. on stage. Um, and so that is a really special and unique opportunity sure. that we had. Additionally to that, Lainey was a Fosse dancer. She was in the company of the musical Fosse. Really? Spent four to five years training mm -hmm. with Gwen herself. If you know Bob dancing, was Fosse then, was a complex guy. So that's yes, to say that she was part of that show and part of that, that routine was, was yeah. is, is no small feat, yeah. which is exactly why he found you know his muse in a way in Gwen Vernon, because yes. she is in terms of dancers She's, there is no better. No, there was no better. Right. No, there was no better. And that's who you're saluting at the gala this weekend. Yes. So we're honoring the Verdon Fosse legacy mm -hmm. at the gala this weekend, um, in addition to celebrating our production of Cabaret, which mm -hmm. will be in performance right across the river. Sure. We're going, Lainey has um, reconstructed two additional Fosse Verdon oh, good. pieces. So t tickets for uh, for Cabaret, which opened when? June uh, 4th? It opened May 13th, oh, I believe. Than that. It, it runs through. Runs until July 3rd. And, and there are plenty of tickets there about are it. And Still again, it's because, uh, and this is what I love about the Goodspeed, you know, the old gray lady. It's everything as old as new again, and you really are yeah. when you reinterpret these old classic yes. things. It's wonderful. And the gala, you have any uh, witty urbane uh, host for this thing? <laughs> well, we have someone that that your audience might know, uh, Mr. Uh, Matt Scott you know, himself I, will be with us. I, I am I am I am honored and, and and humbled to do it, and because and you and I have been friends for a long time, but I've gone from just being a patron of the Goodspeed to helping out in some charity events and doing auctions, and now now I'm finally hosting the damn thing. Yeah, <laughs> a friend of the good speed is what you I'm, are. And I am no, delighted we, to be that. It's so. not the first time you've done it for no. us, and we'll have a good time. Happy to see you. Uh, Donna Lynn Hilton, continued success at Good Speed Opera Thank House. You. If you have not been, you're missing out. It really is. There's a reason that it is just right there, and it is a central part of theater here in Connecticut.